Okay, I have to work on the vacuum pump for the freeze dryer. And I got the front cover off. Okay. And the motor. There's a little star coupling that goes from the motor. There's four long screws holding the pump in. There's four long screws go right in here. That star coupler goes right there. Okay. There's a seal back in behind here. It's leaking. Okay. And I need to replace it. So you can tell by looking at these four corners that there's the screws on the other side holding it in. There's also an Allen wrench an Allen head uh, set screw in there. Okay, so we got to get that off so that I can pull that shaft out. So I got to work on those two things. I think I'll give that a shot at WD. Okay, then this pump comes off the other side here. So, yeah. Freeze dryer doesn't work too good without vacuum, and it just wouldn't pull a good vacuum, and it was dripping oil, and so I ordered me a new seal, a new new pump, cost over three hundred dollars. I paid three dollars and two cents for a new seal. Okay, put it back into that over there. So we're going to change it out. Okay, so here's the uh, Allen wrench. Feels a little stiff, like they might have had some uh, Loctite on it or something. That's what I'm going to do. I don't want it falling off, I'll tell you that. Let me get another bite on there. There we go. Nothing to it. Pretty easy. Now make sure that shaft's nice and clean and smooth when you pull it out. Now I know we're not going to worry about that seal on the way out, but we will on the way in. And there's no sense tearing anything up that you don't have to. It's just common practice to make sure that that's clean, smooth, and ready to go out the shaft. So we'll go ahead and pull these four bolts out then on this side here. And uh, get them out. Pull that pump out. Okay, there's the pump. You can see where it came from. It actually goes like this. That's where it came out of. And it's pretty dirty, so I'm going to do a little cleaning on it. And uh, hose her down, shine her up a little bit, get some of the crud off of it, and particles. I'll get all that cleaned out. I think I'll take this out and clean it. Get a little moisture up in that vacuum pump and over the several years that I've had it it's rusting. You'd think they'd make that out of stainless, huh? Alright, well there's that seal that we want. So we're gonna go ahead and pop that out and then pop the new one in. You have to note which way it's facing. That way It'll go in like that. So, yeah. Definitely don't want to get it in backwards. Okay, got the pump out. Cleaned out. That's what it looks like inside there. It's a vein pump. Only has two veins. And centrifugal force pushes them out. And 
course your pump runs around the circle like any other pump. That's all there is to it, not a whole lot. But uh, hard to believe $300, huh? For that, that's the pump. Okay, I think I'm gonna make a new plate. It's just a splash guard to keep oil from going in up the out tube. Okay, the exhaust. And uh, I think I could make something out of this. It's a little thin, but it's just a splash guard. So it can't hurt anything. Um, that's what I'm going to do. I'll make me up one. I'll bend it up, put it in there, and that way I won't have this rust problem again. Getting down into my pump. It can't be any good if it gets into them veins, I'll tell you that. There's no filter on it. I don't know how it keeps dirt out. So... That's what I'm going to do. Okay, one splash guard. I bet the sides down a little bit just to make sure that it, when it gets hot it doesn't warp and bend. Okay, there is uh, valves on the top of that so I don't want that to hit my valves. And I'll just clean this up, put this all back together, and get that seal changed out. I have a couple of small tools that I made for doing things like this. Getting up into tight spots, prying seals out, bearings out. So probably probably this one here. Pop it out. Don't have to be too careful pulling it out, but uh, you try to pull it straight out so you don't scar the sides. And the other one will just push in. Try to find a right size round to push it right in. You can use a socket. I got this, but you can use a socket to push it in. I wasn't sure if I could do this one-handed or not, but yeah get up in there, up underneath there, and pry, and pops right out. See, there is a sealant on here, so I'm going to put a sealant on there again after I clean this all out. Okay, like I said, just a little tap to seat that. Got that down in there good. And now it's time to clean everything up, make sure there's no dust, dirt particles, anything like that. And I can start putting it back together. I like to take silicone and coat the rubber, any rubber seals. And uh, that's just dielectric grease. You can pick it up at any auto store, but I like to put it on all the rubber seals, and uh, it adds years of life to them, and uh, it's compatible with anything that I'm using right now. There's two of them here in this. Get them nice and drenched. Helps them seal good, softens them up, and keeps them from drying out. That's it going back together. I got my splash guard on there. Okay. And I got to tighten up these four bolts in. Okay, cover's back on. Sight glass looks a little cleaner. <laughs> yeah, got rid of a lot of dirt. 
Okay, we're ready for the motor. Time to put the motor on. We're good to go. Good to go. You can see the long screws here. They go down through all the way through and couple that motor to the pump. See that green coupler, shaft coupler in there. Okay, all we got to do is tighten it down. Start it up. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's working. He's running. <laughs> 